had one good round, and it was obviously that round where he landed those AWM shots. And lo and behold, as soon as you say, Avenger and Ramesses and Pony Rider, they're all in. It's the like they've all just come in to the thing and said, you know what? It's time to, time to walk to up. Play. Yeah, they woke up. They've all just woke up uh, coming in there, trying to see who else in there. Uh, we're going to get a lot of repeat names today. Obviously, there's a lot of guys on the event. I believe um, we had a, like a thousand plus unique players yesterday. That's insane. Uh, taking part. I know, it's, it's pretty That's crazy. That's numbers. Um, which is all right. That's one in five so far. We want to we wanna increase those numbers today. Obviously, there's a lot more people turning up at the venue. So we're at one in five of, of all attendees at Dream Act that are in, in the BYOC. We want to push that to like two, maybe three in what five. What film is it? It's Wolf of Wall Street, isn't it? Yeah. Those are, those are those are little numbers. You gotta push those numbers up. You gotta pump those numbers. <laughs> if you, you, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. You, can, can remind me of those are uh, rookie numbers of Leo DiCaprio. I can, I can take that one. But here we go. Okay, they're gonna be cu cutting straight across. It's going just to the west side of Stalbart. Gonna go straight down towards Soznovka Island. So it's cutting across the sort of eastern side of the map. It's gonna make Georgie Paul drops long poles. If they're gonna go, maybe you can drop for cars. So we'll see where they go that way. And of course, it also. Uh, makes Gatka and Primoz pretty far off. It does bring in, obviously, the whole side. And there's something we haven't talked about, bear in mind it is duos, the fact that Mansion and Prison uh, and Shelter are not really being hit up that much. No, and again, it kind of comes down to the duos area. You're just picking all these different loot areas, and we kind of said we didn't really see what would be in play. And obviously, we have another four servers going on in the back, so we don't yeah, know where the yeah. other players are going to be going and what they're doing. I expected Soznovka to be prime territory. And lo and behold, it's going to be one hell of a bloodbath. That is a very, very busy military base. I'm pretty sure the observers in the back are going to be keeping a dead eagle eye on that. You're going to have oh, several wow. teams going towards Novo as well. I see light wine in there, so a team that can shoot. A couple going to school as well. That's, is that like two or three squads going to school? It potentially could be. Rosshawk's looking extremely busy. Pachinki, uh, one or two squads in there. It's not going to be the busiest of places. Ghost on ghost action. Ooh, they're going to spook each other. Um, and it's a smoke grenade versus shotgun. I think unless he throws it's, 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 bang at his head and knocks him it, out. It's a one-way one way street, really, that one. He's got the crowbar out. He's got the crowbar. He needs oh, his teammate to come out. He potatoes this and gets beat come on the crowbar. Come on, I will, come I will on, personally come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. Crowbar, go for him. Go for him. He's got tier three helmet. Go for him. Oh, go no. for him. Start oh, no. swinging. Start swinging. Oh, no. Start no. swinging, son. Go for the fencing. No. He's got one more hit. No. Oh, take it down. No. Oh, the crowbar <laughs> wins. <laughs> the crowbar on shotgun. Oh. Hang your head in shame, Ghost PSI. How do you even do that? As the crow. <laughs> okay, do you send a favor? Boot up Steam, uninstall the game immediately. <laughs> You just got beat down point blank with a crowbar versus a shotgun. We've seen Shroud go down to a sickle before as well, remember? That's happened. It does happen. It does happen. More importantly, this allows his teammate to come in here with the AKM, kill off the guy that's chilling there with a shotgun, unless he can do... He's the coming up. He's trying to push up. He wants revenge. I can't do it again, surely. He's, hide You've got he's to actually go hiding in the corner. He's been in the same room as him. He's actually just nipped in that room and spotted him and looked away because he's hiding behind the door for him. You can see, he can't quite get the angle because he's dropping off the, uh, I think it's the little logs. Look, yeah, it's the logs there. He's going to pop out the door. Should come out on top here, yeah, once you miss that first shot. And uh, his teammate comes in and Ghost with the crowbar. Let's take a uh, can. Let's take a peek down at Millie Base because I honestly think this is going to start to kick off and pop off really soon. We've got a lot of engagements down there. We've got at least six squads. You can actually see it looks like... Mm. A bit of a fireworks show on the map. You can see the bullets flying, the trajectories, the skull and crossbones are kicking off all over the place. You can watch the kill feed as well. 60 players remaining. We've already lost 13, and we're only a few minutes into this game. It looks like one apartment has been took. At the back, we see Factory. That's under guard by one player, so he's lost his teammate. Two will be in the garages as well. Novo, we've got a team down there that's going to get looted up. School's also one. one Rosling's like got three, six. Three, four squads in Ros. Yeah. Three any particular four. players you like in Rosley? What, what are they? Because you kind of got four, three. I'm looking around to see area. if I can spot any names that have, we've seen throughout. Obviously, we, like as I said, we've been starting to recognise some of the names that do turn up here. Seeing North, there's no one I uh, recognise from previous games. And the, the thing is, obviously, Saturday, Saturday mornings here, there are still more people turning up today. Obviously, we just saw Ivel uh, and uh, PA doing that exactly from uh, Spec Gaming. So, starting to turn up and perform. There's a tournament going on later on today as well. I'll see the uh, the nations 
uh, tournament will be happening. So we might drop off a few of the players. I know there's a few here, like Sigzi and Co. They've got to represent the UK, Rich. They've got to represent us. Go stand behind him and cheer, but unfortunately, we're going to see a cast. Man. Yeah, it is, a, it is a decent little team. Uh, it's actually, for once, the UK's got decent That's representation. It. It's a better team than our football team. We, we had all right Overwatch team as well, actually, now I come to think of it. It wasn't, wasn't too bad. We've got some good UK players. There's a good yeah. UK standard in PUBG, which is... Uh, well, I mean, UK, UK has good players in like a bunch of FPS games, which don't play well together. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play well with each other. This battle's going down. It's a three-way battle, and it's uh, Superstar that's coming down on top. He's a, he's a name we've seen uh, a number of times. Noth just getting a, a peek, and he's going to get taken down by uh, his teammate. Balak's just got a, a shot. That's going down over in uh, Primorsk, actually. Balak and Avenger were down there. So Balak just picked himself up a double. As we said, they, they, they're a team that needs to get going. Balak and Avenger, they need to start looking up a lot of kills here. Garuso's the lawn man. Car 98, hope and a dream, as his team keep getting picked off. ACOG taking a peek. Mm. We can see on the, uh, the player outlines, we know where they're going to be. Just with a yellow silhouette, they're inside the opposing building. He's just trying to get some information where they are. Still got his teammate with him. They're still in this building. They're holding back for a little bit. They're outside the circle. This is precious loot time, valuable loot time, for instance. You don't have a helmet. If he does uh, find the dream bullet through the window, it is going to hit at 250%. And it's going to knock you out. So needs to put some pants on. It's pretty cold in Sweden. I mean, it is pretty cold, but then oh, Ivel's in here. Uh oh, spec gaming. They're back in Pachinki. So Ivel and Pia back in the uh, game. They have Pachinki. Yeah, they do. You can see the map. Remember, the it is it is obviously five rounds. You're looking at five best your best five rounds. So you can play as many as you want today. Uh, obviously, getting 18 kills and first place generally puts you in a pretty good position for the final did we say tomorrow close at two so today's like two the big one yeah. today's the big one where people the are just going to be smashing it out yeah we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some pretty damn good games today uh we potentially might not see them all on server one because it might get to a point where you start seeing some pro players that haven't had a good performance jack's actually getting picked off that was easy for cinti bit um you're gonna have some maybe teams that start to get a little worried that their points are not quite as good as say hollywood and moleman at the top at the moment um, and start going off into the other servers and trying to find a bit of free space and trying to pick up some rounds. So we might not get to see all the massive performances, but so far we've seen some pretty epic ones on, on server one. We had a very good day yesterday and hoping for a much better performance today. Sinti pops out the window, crouch jump. We've seen him throughout with uh, Schmulban, I believe his name is, uh, his teammate. I'm just going to butcher the hell out of it as we keep going. I did ask... Um, uh, Ollie out back, um, not Ollie. Uh, sorry, okay, just 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 calling every social media guy Ollie. <laughs> I don't know why. Pontus, sorry, out the back, and it's man. You gotta get, they gotta get to the full Swedish and, re and record it uh, with my pronunciation. Apologies, everyone Swedish that's staring at me right now. <laughs> my Swedish is great. Uh, this is all in Yasnaya, by the way. So. And circle, which we haven't really talked about, it's pretty much central on prison. Yeah, it's going to lock down this obviously this corner of the of the the large island. Novo is still going to be in, gives him more time to continue looting. You got a couple of players in there as well. Coa is also there. You'll see Stiffer moving through. Possif on the back, uh, number eighty three. Two players still inside Millie, going for that extremely long loot phase. Mansion coming up on the corner here for these two teams. They might get a view on each other. Then again, you do have a lot of ridge line in between them, so you probably won't get to see it. Lepovka's a lovely player, so you've got two players down there. That's one team that's just going to be able to loot the living hell out of it. Unless they've obviously had a, it's like a fight to some of them. Ramsey's a rocket pretty close. Is it record rocket with Pony Rider there? Looks like it. Have they been in Milter Power already? So he lost his teammate earlier on, if I'm not mistaken. He was with one of the players that we've seen quite a fair bit of. No one camping the bridge. Um, well, there's a bunch of vehicles coming over it. They're all making Three their teams. way out of that bridge early. And it's what you want to do. So stiffer. Imagine who, if these uh, guys get out bail and just camp it. It's doable if they really want to. Well, do if it. they know there's a vehicle coming up behind them, which he could, if you you know use that old key and swing around, you oh. wouldn't saw him. But instead, they've gone for the beach. And if you're on the back of the buggy as well, just completely open and exposed, That's you just get horrible. That thing. It's horrible, isn't it? It's like, oh, uh, who's going to drive it? Are you, are you on the back? Oh, do I have to be? I have to be. Can I just find another vehicle? Nope, you're my bodyguard. You're taking <laughs> bullets for me. You, you have are. a level three, so you're going to take the bullets for me. <coughs> uh, they're going to ditch the cap. They're going to check out the uh, the little compound that's just off the side of the beach as you come across the bridge. Just keep carrying on looting. Uh, level one vest. Need to try and look for a level oh, two. And that's exactly what they've done. So post post just done that. They've pulled up the vehicle and he's like, you know what, I'm going to camp it. I don't know if there's anyone left. Yeah, there is somebody else coming. I think Nova that, 
that's yeah. There's another group coming this way. I think oh, it's, sort of a team. It's just a, is it a single or is it a double? Is there two in that car? His teammates coming under the boat. So his teammates about to go underneath in a boat. Nice to get. Oh, so, oh, he's not even looking. Poste is not even get looking. Both angles here. He's got to spin around. He's got to realize they're coming behind him. Poste, uh -oh. hello, wake up. There's a vehicle coming straight towards you, buddy. He's getting the angle. He's getting away from it. He doesn't want anything to do with the bridge camp. He's just going for his buddy on the boat. Now he hears the car. And it's too late. They've already pulled up. I think they spotted him. I think they spotted him. So or are they going for their own bridge camp? This is like out oh. camping the camper. No, he spots him. Postate, you're in the open, mate. Oh, my God. It's popped. Oh, my. Rest in peace, popped. my friend. Um, you just dug your own grave. You know, you give away your position. You stood still. and He had the camp and then kind of ran away the from The fact him. that he's just <laughs> reversing this to the loot. Like, yeah. You just got, you just got wrecked, son. You can't find the great. Is that, where is he? He's Luke here. Luke. He's further. He's further up. The thing, way further up. Never stand still. And it's another point of leaning because if you're leaning, you can just let go of the key and you just instantly lean back. So you just pull your head in, you swing it in, you shift out the way. And now his corpse just sits there, giving away. Unless they're a bad shot and they're just going for your body. Yeah, just hanging around. And he now leaves the server. Ramazis gets dinked pretty damn hard. Two, around about two HP left. And now he's Rocker dead. knocks him, yeah. Pony Where's Rider's going to have to work hard to go and get him back up unless he can get across the defilade and give himself some cover. He's Obviously, got... you can't revive while you're laid down. You ah, have he's going to bleed out. These Rockouts finishing him here. Yeah, there's no way. He's... Oh, he's just behind that ridge. Just the old tiniest depends, so ridge. There's enough for Pony Rider to crouch down and actually get him, though. Pony's running. Where's PJ the DJ? That's Rockout's teammate. It's the mate. I got these Did down. I got, I got these names down. No, no, no. PJ, they've been in, in there. Oh, they were just separated. Yeah, okay. you need to drop the tab off specs. We've got the uh, mouse showing us the lovely center point. There we go. Um, the communication's fantastic. I know. I, I love it. it. If, and then if they can put the tab up on the map, I'll be, I'll be like in heaven then. I don't know whether they've got a keyboard attached to it anymore. They must have. They must have. So... Circle pinch coming in, 48 players remaining. Take a quick look at the west side of that circle because it's going to get very, very busy just towards the center smack bang coming out of Pachinki. One, two, three, four squads potentially. One of them moving up to school. We'll see some uh, a good bit of beating down there. Look for these guys coming from Novo. We've still got some bridge campers that could potentially go for them unless they get a boat and kind of oh, head the way towards the old... Uh, just on the edge. The so where's Avenger? Tower. Ba oh, oh Balak's been knocked. So Avengers, where is Avenger? Now, these two have Avengers a very... way off. Yes. They were they were in Primorsk. Okay, Avengers just coming in now. Avenger likes to split up and, and loot in kind of two... They're going to finish directions. him off. They're going to finish him off. They're pushing up. Avengers just about coming out of the blue. Is he going to come the hero moment? The hero moment from Avenger. We're not seeing it. He's come for the flank. It's actually another squad. I think it's another squad that's come to save the day. Balak's still crawling it. It is. It's a completely different squad. Balak's just crawling away. Avengers way off up in the hills. Look. There's no point because they need, they need, you know, he needs points, right, Lee? There's no, why go and just instantly die if you walk up to this because he's coming out? It's Ival, Ival and Pierre. Ivan and Pierre actually came in and they've just picked up the kill on Balok. The only chance, the only way he could potentially have done that is if he wasn't in the blue, right? Because he's coming out of that blue and he's already been damaged. His health's already. Been oh, that blue. was another. Uh, these boys have turned up. Hey, they love to spray. And well, it, that was just another siege. So, uh, so uh, Ival again. Deciding to turn up now. Ivor with the car 98. This is, question, this is questionable. Oh, that's a, that's a, it's a risky 2v1. He just looked at the kills a minute ago. Ramesses just got uh, two kills, by the way. It was, and it was uh, Stoff and Spider. So it wasn't uh, Rocket who knocked him earlier on. Okay, so. Oh, hello. I like Avengers Only, only got iron sights. Or oh, I don't like the fact that it's one, he's got an iron sight. Two, he's wearing a level one vest. He's, he's a super confident player. He's a super incredible player. Well, I would say, you know, as far as going professional, in, in terms of professional goes, he knows exactly what to do and how to do it. Turns around, leans on the corner, goes for the second lead, gets the peak, gets the spray down as well. That comes in. Now he needs to be aware of the He knows he's got a tire. Yeah. And he's actually in the blue. He's forced the guy in the blue. But he's forced it to a 1v1 engagement. Yeah. And more important, like he says, he's putting in the blue, but the spray comes down. He does get lucky. The, this player is going to rush it though. He's, he's going to go in he's aggressive. Got no more first aids. He's got no more first aids. I don't think. Oh, he has. He's going for it now. He's going to get pushed here yeah, around the corner. He knew exactly. Heard the footsteps just as they came around. Ivel, really well played. And um, nice I, to see a bit of pro on pro. I kind of was hoping that maybe he would have learned from yesterday that you know they're going to get pushed. They're going to get rushed in this. He didn't go around there. If it had been around the corner and get the first aid, it'd have been able to pop off. And he'd have also been able to take that fight as it came around the corner. A little bit unfortunate. 
once oh, again. They're still going. Having the very best of games. Got a second finish yesterday, but still looking for some more hardcore points. I dare say we'll still see them without fail in the grand finals on Sunday because they are really good players. Silenced M16, though. They need to have some good rounds today, though. Uh, I mean, yep. at the moment, Ival and PA are looking fantastic. Uh, Circle's moved in. It's pushed further down to Milter Power, and it's going to bring a lot of that water into play. Are we going to get our first game of, say, uh, the water bobbing spots. up and down, the water boys, whatever you prefer to call them? Ramesses got himself in those yellow buildings. You did see Rocket and PJ actually had them uh, pinned down once again. Taylor's just coming in, actually, if we can get a look on that. You can see they're coming in on the vehicle. They're actually come straight between Ramesses, Ponerade, Milau, Taylor. They're all just lighting them up. You can see it's uh, it's not a happy place to be in that vehicle. How is he still alive in that vehicle? That one there, that's the one. <laughs> why, why are we not clicking on it? Why are we not clicking on it? <laughs> as much as I love a good montage, I think yeah. we've got people... Oh, people. Milau's got the kills. Milau got the kills up. So uh, that was that was Ramesses and Pony Rider. They need to get some kills right now. They picked up a couple a minute ago. Rockat's going for the... I, I the think hold I, the right button down and, and go for the shot rather than the scope, or is this just the spec? I'd, I'd assume it's just the spec. From, from this angle, you're not going to try and hard scope it from there. You would, you know, you're going to... I go don't know, you know. I, th I feel like he is. What, just holding down and just going yeah. for the slow walk? I mean, that's it there. You can see it. Oh, you can see he's holding the right. He's, he's crouching as well, so it's going to be. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why you, you would. You see the crosshair? Look. Oh, there, there we go. go. Maybe one, maybe How many? I don't know. Eight times. I don't, I don't know. He fancied a, just fancied a montage. Tried to get himself a montage. Be at the end of the day. Got the, got the recording on. He's been popping these shots off. How many, I don't know how many bullets he's, he's got. got. His, he's got his Halpage PVR. <laughs> Remember back in the day? <laughs> Hitting record in the back. <laughs> oh, we never used fraps to have none of this. Fraps, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> none of this shadow play malarkey we have these days. Yeah. Oh, God. How rough did it used to be recording stuff? <clears throat> Remember you used to have a, a hey, cable? I've been, I've been cable. doing esports for a long time. I've gone oh. through the ringer with all sorts of streaming, My first streaming technologies. Twitch, Twitch streaming is like the dream yeah. that came true. Like, it's, oh, it, we, we were around in the octo-shaped days and before that. I don't remember that no, one. I, I even did radio stuff as well, so uh, like we didn't. I, I just had to literally describe the action that's going on. Fraps used to kill my PC, I know Fraps, that much. yeah, Fraps I used to lock it down at 30 FPS because you go above <laughs> and it'd be like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> CPU is dying. The hard drive's like, because there was yeah. no SSDs back in them days either. Yeah, it rattling, this big lump of metal rattling <laughs> in your PC and just burning into a bowl of flame. <clears throat> rattling in your Xbox, surely, right? <laughs> <laughs> we used to do a thing where if you didn't like a map, you could hear it. Old DLC maps, you could actually hear them on the Xbox when it was loading DLC maps. Right. You could hear the the, the hard drive kicking up, so you'd be like, no, exit game. Exit game. Oh, it used to be. Don't want to play that one. Like, <laughs> anyway, back to this. Yeah, well, Pierre's just got knocked. He got one down. His light wine that's come up. There's a grenade getting tossed up on him as well. Will this be actually revenge leave from the previous game? It could be, because they, they were the ones that had the Groza. It was light wine that had the Groza. Where is Ival? Oh, that's a belting shot. I don't know where he is, but he just landed one shot. Piega goes down, so Ival's now on his own. He's the grenade pushed. did land. He's getting pushed, he didn't realise. Lunchpinner's going to come round. He just has to cancel, and he gets taken down. Lunchpinner, revenge is sweet, and they take down the spec gaming guys. Very, very nice indeed. Very aggressive. Oh, fluffer by. Okay, the, let's go back over to Mill to Power again because these, this is continuing. These guys continue to push in, coming in the vehicles. Milau is the one that's been picking up the kills. This time, Pony Rider gets the knock, but I think Milau is going to get around and get the kill. No, okay, fluffer by finally gets taken down by Pony Rider. So this time, they've been in this complex, lighting people up. But now, remember, Rocket and PJ the DJ had them pinned in this complex to try and make the cross. How have they backed away? It looks like they have. So they may just about be able to get out of here. They know they got Milau and uh, I don't know where Taylor is. Taylor's is uh, Milau's teammate. He's off the side there. Uh, Sinti looks like he only got in on his own. Flifferby uh, got taken down. Yeah, Rockat and PJ, they've moved away. So they've actually allowed Ramesses and Pony to get out of that complex now. Light one we just saw down on the south there. They obviously just got the kills a minute ago. Here's Taylor off the side. Uh -oh. He's getting pushed up by Rockvald and uh, Fjortis. But he's deciding to get out of there, which is fair play. He's got a vehicle. The U.S. comes in. They will take this uh, this sideline area, and it's a good place to be. He's almost dead center of the circle, and you can just play around all this grass. You can lay down in it. You can use the trees just to bob and weave. No point in going for the, the shot just yet, because you give away your position, and that's exactly what it's done. He hears the shot, turns around to the pinhead. The ACOG comes out. The hard tag comes in. One player will be left to at least PJ. The DJ does have to go around the corner, but he pokes as well. The dink comes in. He's pushed back. 
We will see in the kill feed the knock comes on PJ the, PJ, the DJ, excuse me. That's a tongue twister on a, on a Saturday morning at 11 a.m. The stims come in. All in pink as well. Look at this. It's not as if you're trying to be camouflage or anything. Talk about setting a bold statement. Bold, bold. Oh, I suppose it can. We're getting, we're getting grief, mate. We're getting grief. Pierre, Pierre is saying, I just got called PJ by D Man. I'll tell you what, it was you that called him PJ, not me. I said Pierre. I said Pierre, you said PJ. I'm talking about PJ the DJ, though. No, I know. I don't worry about last game. Last game. Oh, we, we did say we were going to bunch some names. I do apologize. Uh, we are. We Especially are. when you're a northern like me. I barely have running electricity and water, <laughs> up, let alone <laughs> an English language teacher. Got the old stone, stone <laughs> oven on. <laughs> hey, I'm still, I've got the, uh, what is it? <laughs> What's that thing where they learned the Egyptian? Rosetta Stone. That's what I, that's what I learned my English from. <laughs> um, just a quick note as oh, well. Rocket landing the shot. Yeah, this M16, he's been doing some work. Yeah, and if you look at Ramsey's as well, he did have the ACOG on the uh, the Silence Car 98, but these guys also, two of a Car 98, you can see there in the window, he's just leaning and poking. I like the fact that he's leaning again. You can tell a player has put some hours in when they're using the lean, they kind of at least know how to... His teammate's getting in the way. He's a seriously dude, right? Yeah, he's up to reposition. PJ, get out the bloody way, will you? Careful, Lee, because look at this. They're getting rushed from behind. Very Enough. They've got the rock coverage. One team's behind them, one team's on top of the hill. The team on the top of the hill is going to hear all this Shot going on. Early. They might be able to just turn up late game if they want. Just steal all these kills. Another spray comes in. He's going to find his head as well. He'll push it back and he'll get the kill. Fantastic job coming out from Rocker. They stay alive. That was just so lucky. Like, that was down to the fact that PJ blocked his angle of view and he repositioned. He turns around and goes, oh, that's two boys pushing behind us. Bang, get himself a double. That's just so... I mean, you so pure luck lucky, right there. This is going to be unlucky now because they've given away no. their, their area. They have to put the back against people, so people coming up the hill, they'll now be exposed. Unless they've got pans on their asses, they're going to get tinked up. <laughs> Bullets coming through. Sniper on sniper action. This is going to be, I would say, Eden, potentially. Eden, I think, maybe. Aircock, go on, show you, show you the first man. Ooh, hit the tree, hit the tree. He's too close to the tree there. He could potentially move up to the next tree, but ooh, that would hurt. <laughs> that's his helmet. And that's his chest gone. Yeah, that's a uh, trade for trade. PJ, he's got a long one more. Just gets away with it. His teammate looking at Aiden again. He's going for the peak. He has to be careful, though, because now... There was those two behind that they were shooting at. They've got to be yeah. careful of their asses right now. Because it, his teammates run away as well, it leaves the other player exposed. So he has to be aware of that. He's had scope and he doesn't realize he still has to reload. That's the only one of the downsides that can I, and unless you've got the bullet loops, it does obviously, it's bolt action. It can take time to reload and you only get four shots in the chamber. stood in the open. I mean, the buff, the buff made that bullet count. Um, it all depends whether or not the PJ does get the angle on him. That's yes, somebody else, it's PJ, yep. Yeah, he just, and this is kind of what we're saying, because his teammate pushed away and pushed back, there's no pressure on PJ, which allows him to push forward, drill him, get the kill. Ultimately, now he's only got one player left on that team. Oh, a circle comes in, it pushes into the lumber mill. That's what I like. There is all sorts of cover in around there. People are just like trying to reposition and get their best plays. Uh, Milau and Taylor near Pony Rider and Ramesses. And as we say, Ramesses and Milau, they needed to have a, uh, a big round. I don't believe they've got that many kills yet. Um, but they are still in with a shout. I think we're down to about a 10, 10 squad game now. Maybe a little bit more. 25 players remaining. PG and Rocket rotating round. As you mentioned now, this is a very good circle. All of the lumber and all of the timber bricks down at the bottom, they're all going to still in play. A couple of the, uh, the housing compounds, people will be chilling for a while. Flex just trying to clear out a path because obviously when the next circle comes in, more than likely, these compounds will not be inside. So they need to make a very clear path. They need to have information on where these players are going to be, where they're going to be rotating and moving to. If they can get some free kills while sitting in here, you know, they've got 24 seconds until that circle starts to move and the push does come in. They get points. Why not? Get some free kills, but also clear that path. Bullet finds its target. PJ is pushed back. No chest now. I think he got it knocked off in the previous round, but again, that helmet can't be looking too shabby soon. What a great position they're in. Like, Rockout's looking above him the other way, and PJ's peeking that way with the rock. They have the rock cover behind them, and they're just getting pushed from every angle. I love duos. I love duo games. It's fun. Yeah, these guys have to move. We're looking at them. You can see the circles pushing on them in a minute. They're just 
staring at the LMS guys. There's the circle pushing by. So stiff up. Oh, it's open ground. There's really not a lot of cover. They're going to have to go from tree, for tree to tree. He's going to try and use the yellow buildings, but I think there's like third or fourth circle. It's going to really start to chunk. Yeah, look at this health bar on the bottom. Starting to knock down. They've had to drop the gun. Run as fast as they can. Looks like uh, Bambury's teammates trying to keep it with the gun. They've got to make this push. They've got decent cover. There's a decent bit of death on, on the hillside there. But look at the blue. It's pushed off way into the distance. They're going to have to really run this one with the health packs. Depends how many stims they've got as well. Mm -hmm. He's only used one. It would have been nice to see two. Get the uh, faster movement. Oh. But also the, the more ticks of health. It would double up. AKM. M16. Well, Ghost is pushing around. He doesn't realize it. Critus has just put his back straight into the uh, LMS Ghost. I think he's about to come around the corner. Straight into him. He's no idea where he's getting shot from. He's taking, just firing off shots in random directions. Like, where are the bullets coming from? He's got a good idea. He kind of knew it came from at least in front of him because you've been able to tell where the sound is. So. Well, those guys that we just watched a moment ago, they all died in the play zone. Died out the play zone. I thought that. It, I'm sure it's like the fourth circle already. And once it, once it hits that barrier, it really hurts. Oh, God, don't turn on him, please. That was, I don't want to say lucky, but certainly questionable. He wasn't hard peeking as much as I'd ever liked to have seen him do it, but still, KRLB will get the kill. He does have another player inside this compound, so he has to be very careful because they are pretty much next to one another. But look at the circle all the way up north. That's a big shift. Lightwine and uh, Lunch Pinard just picked up another cow. I'm liking what I see from these guys. This, this, this is a nice little duo I've been seeing. They're, they're pushing up now on that loop, but I don't think they realize that Flexi is going to be so close. Uh, Ice Phoenix there as well. They, they've obviously heard the fight. They knew they were coming in. Are they going to push up or are they just going to run away? I think they're going to try and use the circle and go around the edge of this. So uh, Lightwine won't quite get a glimpse of them. Obviously, we have the... The, uh, the beauty of the spec mode, so we can see just how close these guys are. Off to the west was Pony Rider and Ramesses. They're still making their way in. Uh, Scraven just picking up himself a bunch of kills. That's Rocket and Peter, the DJ, going down. So Scraven, that's pushing up the hill. And it's all working its way in towards this Lumbiard at the moment. The problem is, is that they're spending so much time. They think people are inside here. Oh. That's the second <laughs> grenade he's missed now. Come on, my wife. have a good shot, but pretty crap at throwing nades, my friend. They think people are in here, and that's why they're, they're spending too much time. Look at how long they've been here, what? and the circle's going to be coming at them very, very soon. It's so. Raxon that was looking at them there. He's just lost his teammate to Pony Rider. Go Ghost just went down, LMS Ghost. Uh, they LMS Ghost was the guy uh, with Raxon. Ghost was the man that obviously got the kill early on uh, with the cleaver, uh, the hatchet, or if you prefer to call it. What was, what was he using, actually? No, think of it. The crowbar. It was the crowbar, wasn't it? It was the crowbar. It was the crowbar. Cracked his skull with the crowbar. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was interesting. 16 players alive then, compared to when we saw last time, where it was about 30, I believe it was, maybe even 34. The push will come through. The circle starts to move. Grenades are going down. I, I always find it tricky. Flexi just threw it uphill. If you're running uphill and you're throwing grenades uphill, I'm just waiting for that moment where one of your own grenades takes you out. Plum is the man. He's going to land the shot. Peeks around, gets himself the second, and that's a quick double. Lovely. He's also, unfortunately, though, needs to be his teammate. He's very, very damaged. He's probably going to fall to the blue. Yes, he will. In fact, excuse me, no, it's not his teammate. That's an enemy. That was yeah. someone else who we spoke about with the girl bar earlier on. All these teams, they're kind. Oh, of look at this. Where? This is a horrible area. circle. <laughs> Okay, Pony Rider, Taylor and Milau still here. They've done well. Lightwine's been doing well throughout it. Ramesses and Pony Rider still in there. These guys in the north, we haven't really paid too much attention to Procon and Light Messina. Uh, they're both very low. Lightwine and uh, Lunchpinner, they're actually flanking almost in parallel with the guys in front of them, aren't they? But just slightly ahead. Actually could come around to bite them. They could get caught out by Scraven in the back. Yeah, we'll see how this one goes. They've been up top for, for quite some time in the north, the two guys, and it was the better one because they had the circle before. No one really pushed them, and then they've got the circle again, and now they can just kind of tinter on the edge if they need to. Here you go, look. They, they, they just watched Lunch Pinner. Did, did McFlum see him there? I don't know. I don't know whether that rock he's, blocks he's him. Looking, I think he's it looking does. away. One's looking north, one's looking south. Um, so they're small. No, he wouldn't have seen him. He wouldn't have seen him. He's just bandaging. Well, look at how... how Lightwise they're not right moved there. at all. They're literally just... But waiting. they're not going to be expecting him because he's been behind that rock for so long. Are oh. they going to be? Oh, oh, oh well, well, well. Light, light moving. We've we've moved away from it, but they're moving in on it. Yeah, they've they've engaged. One McFlum's down. been knocked. Is the other going to fall? Surely. Scraven, yeah, he's pinned. They knew exactly where he was. So light McFlum's down. Lunch Pinar's pretty much one got Scraven. There we go. Lunch Pinar finds him. So light one and Lunch Pinar come out on top of that one. Uh, apologies uh, because uh, they they tried to switch over to Superstar versus Taylor, which is going on right now. 
Level one. Yay. Oh, he's got wow, damage yeah. on the back as well, so he could probably make something happen with that if he really wanted to. It doesn't like they've got a scope on it whatsoever, so... Superstar on the... Is he on the bookshelf? He is on the bookshelf, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. this late in the game, unless you had the kind of the area, the advantage, so to speak, you wouldn't bother using it. Just if his teammates still alive, which is good for them. Nine players remaining. We're moving directly into the Lumbiad. Smack move out that blue. Center. It's going to hurt. And going straight out to him. And he's got the blue advantage. They're both going to go down, maybe. Ooh, one chunk. Taylor didn't quite get hit by that blue. Lightwine and light pin out there. A uh, lunge pin out there in a perfect position. Pony Rider and Ramesses have to push into this one. Procon also moving in. So Milau and Taylor, they're going to head into Pony Rider, it seems. I think they're going to go that direction. Lightwine and lunge pin out. They have the best position so far. They have the circle with them. Ramesses sees the guys off to the north. And it's actually Lightwine and Lynchpin he saw. So Ramesses knows exactly where they are in the circle. He's got he's got an eye of everything. He just spun around and saw Taylor and uh, he didn't see Taylor, but he saw Milau there. Ramesses here. I think that they were rocking it. In fact, these two are the same Lightwine and Ramesses, both three threed up. Helmet and chest. The best of the best. Smokes are going down from Procom. These guys actually have the circle. They have they've had it for three times now, just up in the north. They can kind of stand the ground. No, they don't. They have to move. They don't have the circle. They have to move. It's Lightwine and Lunch. Oh, so they've come down. Yeah. Excuse me. They, it's, yeah. the, it's the first, but you're right. It they is the, the first time they've had they? to move, yeah. yeah. Which is why they've just laid all that smoke down. They're pushing in. Actually, Lightwine and Lunch, while they've got the circle, they've got three squads pushing in on them. Milau and Taylor are getting pushed by Pony Rider and Ramesses. This is happening to the uh, north side. That's going to force Lightwine to spin around. They're trying to take down uh, Light Messina and Procon pushing through the smoke. So they use that smoke cover. They should get taken down. Lunch, but will finish those off. Now they need to spin around because Ramesses and Pony Rider are up against them. It is a two on two. And Ramesses and Pony Rider know exactly where these two are. Ramesses again with all the armor in the One nade could finish this. He's got the K98. And this man can snipe. Whoa! Finds oh! one head again. Same scenario as yesterday. This man is an absolute tank when it comes to sniping. Trying to look for the second one. He knows he's going for the first he aid. Knows he knows he's going for the revive. Yeah, you've got to be understanding it's that he's the straight push. Corner. Here comes the spray. Oh, he gets him. him again for a second time. His teammate comes to the left. The oh, guy right down. In. There's the pinch and there's the kill. GG. Nine kills in total for Amazis and Pony Rider. A nice fat win on the board, same as yesterday. And again, just working in tandem towards the end, just to perfectly pin to those two players. You got one that goes knocked down, you say, okay. We now Push, know exactly yeah. what he's going to do. He's going to go for that guy. I'll split one way. You split the other. Like, it's banking him at the same time, and this is an easy game. As soon as he didn't go for the instant peak, like wine, uh, when Lunch Pinner went down, that, that was it. It was go time. It was like, okay, he's going for the revive. Push. Um, it was a little unfortunate for Lunch Pinner and Lightwine. They had the circle advantage, but it actually worked against them because it was downhill. They obviously saw all the smokes coming out from Light Messiah and Procon. So, like, okay, we've got to deal with these two guys. But unfortunately, while they were dealing with them, uh, we saw obviously Ramesses and Pony Rider taking down Taylor and Milau really quick. Uh, that's just the case they just flanked, they were in front of them, took them down. It instantly gave them an advantage because they saw the engagement happening. So the second they were coming down the hill, they're, like, they're both behind the rock. Yeah. They are both pinned there. Can't ITH shot from Ramesses. We've seen him landing shot after shot after shot. Uh, he has been on fire with the sniper rifles. And they push up and they get themselves a second chicken dinner. Got themselves one yesterday. I think they only had about eight kills in that one. We saw Ramesses getting six in that. Pony Rider and Ramesses get themselves another chicken dinner. Yet more great action. I like yeah. I like the Good. diversity we're getting with the circle as well. We've had some really interesting circle spots. That one, I thought it was going to finish in Lumbiada, and you're looking at the position of the players, a lot of people got themselves positioned around that, were expecting it, and then it just drifted a little bit down the hill. So the kind of thing that comes in when you look at uh, not only just Lumbiada, but everything perpendicular to Lumbiada, kind of like that, the whole 100 yards around that area, when you're playing that final circle, you have to have been playing this. I mean, you could say this goes for every scenario, but Lumbiada in particular, because of the amount of hills and sight lines, rocks and trees, and yeah. mainly the defilades, and mainly just the terrain overall, you need to know what's going on in Lumberlee Yard. You need to know where you need to be going, where you want to be exiting, and where you kind of want to lock down. Because there's so many areas to hide, and there's so many much prime territory. If you know it, you can go, you can just get some good, a good foothold, and kind of just kind of, not necessarily camp it down, but at least take a very, very strong position, and just let them come to you.
some great games, and we saw a number of pros in that one. And Good. well, we obviously Pony Rider, who formerly of Theatre of Mayhem, and Ramesses uh, currently, I believe, of Team Two Totality. We'll see whether that changes. Of course, there's got a lot of roster shuffles going on. Great setup for them. We're going to have a quick lunch break, so when we come back, it will be a, a little bit longer. I'll